What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, tapped, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This free journal collects reading for the sign of Capricorn. This can resonate your path to any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, World, Sun, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with the rest. Hold on one second, you guys. I dropped the card. I apologize. Cheetah and Zebra. So, as always, this is a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the rest of the messages that resonate with the rest. Um, if you're interested in my personal services, the link's in the description box below. If you'd like to donate, the link's in the description box below, too. Love and appreciate all the love and support for the channel. Um, I truly appreciate it, okay? Okay, so I received several channelings as I was meditating on your energy, Capricorn. Um, for um, let's see, so we're twelve two in twenty twenty two. So, um, well, technically not the first week. Well, yeah, the second day of um, second day of um, December. So the first week, kind of sorta of um, December twenty twenty two. Okay. Um, cause we're December 2nd. So, okay. So the first channeling I heard was holiday shopping. That was the first one. The second one I heard, um, building up savings account. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And the third one I heard, you're about to hear about a divorce soon. It's going to be, uh, one, you're going to be shocked one, you're not. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So holiday shopping, that could be you holiday shopping or somebody else holiday shopping, or maybe you work in retail, um, possibly some kind of holiday shopping. How that resonates in applause, okay? Um, or somebody you're connected to, working in retail or holiday shopping, okay? Because energy is going to be reversed. Second one, um, you're about to hear about someone getting a divorce. For one, you're going to be shocked. One, you're not. It's not you getting a divorce. It's somebody else I'm feeling. But you're going to be, one, you're going to be shocked. One, you're not. You plug in how it resonates. And then the third one, oh, what was the third one? What was the third one? Hold on. Oh, building up your savings account, building up your savings account. So one of you guys is building up your savings account. So yours, Capricorn, you're building up your sa your savings account. If that resonates and applies for you. For some, I feel you could be dealing with fire sign or another earth sign because you have cheetah and zebra energy. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, world, sun, moon, and Jupiter charts, if you are. Um, cheetahs represent fast energy, so I feel for some, things are going fast right now, or they're about to. How that resonates and applies. Or it could be going fast for someone else. Or about to. How that resonates and applies. Your message is here for pleasure. Your message is here for pleasure. July, thought, shrewdness, and resourcefulness, especially in business, money path, a path of money is waiting for you to find it. For one, a surprise trip 
to your hometown, your home city, will be made possible soon through many series of chain events, but no, you have to reach out for the communication to make it happen. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So for one of you guys, I heard know that a trip to your hometown, and I specifically heard home city. So wherever you're from, I think you resided in a city. Like, you know, hometown can be a country bumpkin, um, small town. But I think your home place is a home city. Like you, your, where, your home place is a city. I heard no, whoever that's for, I heard know that, um, uh, a trip to your home city is possible, but you have to reach out and um, um, utilize communication for it to happen. Um, and when you do, it will start happening fast. Know this. Okay, I heard it. When you do, it will start happening fast. Know this. So I think one of you guys wants to make a trip to your home city. So fast energy with Cheetah. But um, I don't think you you either don't drive or you don't have a vehicle to get there or you don't have transportation to get there or maybe somebody else has transportation. How that resonates applies. I don't think you drive or your vehicle's down or you don't want to... It, I feel it's a long distance from where you're at. Um, so it sounds like if you reach out to somebody and you communicate with them, it can happen. But... You have to reach out with the communication to make it happen. And I heard once you do, it will start moving fast with the cheetah energy. So that's for one of you guys. You only plug the messages in that resonate with the rest, okay? But wherever you're, you are, um, your home city is, it's not where you are now. I'll tell you that. And it's, it's a city and urbanized area. Yeah, I think you're going to have success if you reach out and communicate. Success, number 34, could be very significant number in one's life, number 34. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. And through many series of chain events, for one, your mother is about to be a very, 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 very rich woman. A very rich woman. And it is about to benefit you in a huge way. Wow. And for one, through many, one of you guys, your mother, so that could be a biological mother or foster mother or what have you, what have you. I heard through many series of chain events, your mother, Capricorn, is about to be a very, 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 very rich woman. Through many series of chain events, it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So whoever your mother is, she's not a karmic mother. She's not a karmic mother. Okay, it's confirmation. So she's not a karmic mother. She doesn't mean you harm. Um, and I think she loves you very much because I heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way. If your mother was greedy and selfish, she would, her becoming a very rich woman, she wouldn't share any of it with you. But I heard it was going to benefit you. So I think she's going to share some of it with you or help you in some shape, form, or fashion when she becomes a very, very, very rich woman, uh, Capricorn. Um, in many ways, in many ways, she's going to help you in many ways. So, well, that's beautiful. So she's not a karmic to you. Um, in fact, I feel she loves you very much. And I didn't hear that she did. She did. But it's obvious that she does if she's going to spend, uh, help you in many ways and basically share this money with you um how that resonates and applies success for your mother she's about to become a very 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 wealthy woman soon very um, but it's going to benefit you so you, you're not dealing with a karmic mother here you're dealing with a mother that truly loves and cares about you cheetah For one, there's about to be a workplace injury in your workplace. For one, you're about to be injured. For one, it's going to be somebody else. There will be a drug screening that's going to have to be taken with this. For one, you will be fine. For one, you will not. Whoa! So you plug it in, how it resonates <clears throat> on the place work injury. Um, so occupational health, basically. Um, wow. Okay. So for one, you're about to get injured. For one, it's somebody else about to get injured. But both situations, you work in a 3D workspace. Whether you're about to get injured or somebody else is about to get injured, it sounds like both situations, a drug screening is going to have to be, take place. And that's standard for all workplace um, situations. Anytime there's a workplace injury, drug screenings, I mean, that's just standard. 
And that's just the truth. If anybody doesn't know that, maybe you're new to the workforce and you don't know about the workforce or what have you, what have you. That's standard. But I heard for one of you guys, you're the one about to get injured. For one of you guys, it's somebody, um, it sounds like in your workplace about to get injured. But both these situations, uh, a routine standard drug screen, which is standard, is going to have to be had. Heard for one of you guys, you'll be fine. So you don't do drugs. For one, you do. And let me tell you, the one that does do drugs, your ass about to be booted out of there. And I didn't hear you're going to get terminated, but that's just logic, reason, and intuition 101. I mean, they have to terminate you. And that's just the truth. I don't care how buddy palsy somebody is in with somebody. you They have to terminate. And that's just the truth. Um, so I heard one, you're going to be fine. So you don't do no drugs. You know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One, you do. So only you know if you do drugs or anybody else, okay? But I think that's um, the fast energy too um, uh, with this um, workplace injury and the drug screening and you pass or you don't pass. You do drugs or you don't, okay? Now, it's different if you take prescription medicine and you can prove it um, through some kind of documentation, you know. Um, but it's, it's like illicit drugs or you're popping pills or molly or whatever the hell you're doing and you're not supposed to be doing it that's a different story you can't prove it through documentation okay zebra True colors have already been shown on a particular person, and true colors are about to be shown on a particular person. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. For some, they live with you. For some, they're in their, your workplace. For some, you're dating them. For some, they live with you. For some, they're in your workplace. For some, you're dating them. True colors are about to be shown. Um, whether they've already been shown or they're about to be shown, Capricorn, whether it's somebody uh, you work with, I feel 3D workspace, Somebody you're dating or um, somebody, what was it? Somebody you live with, somebody you work with, somebody you're dating. How that resonates in a class. So in this aspect, you know, zebras have stripes. True colors, baby. Um, the third eye placement, true colors, about to be shown. Um, I feel like aura energy here, and I didn't hear that, but I feel like they're aura. Like, true colors, like you're going to see how they react to certain situations but um or do in certain situations or what have you what have you but also for some i feel you might consider auras and i didn't hear that you did but intuitively i feel maybe some you do uh, maybe you're going to sense their auras and that's just the truth only you know if you can sense auras not anybody else okay but if you cannot can or cannot sense auras you definitely will see true colors coming out in them in the everyday 3D world. What they do, what they say, how they handle situations or situations, their integrity, their morals, their values, something, whether you've already seen them or you're about to, okay? July. Someone born in July is very significant in your life already. And for one, someone born in July is about to become very significant in your life. Okay, so for, okay, so that's either a Cancer or a Leo. Um, so a Cancer or a Leo energy, um, how that resonates and applies. There, a Cancer or a Leo energy, born in July, end of July is Leo energy. Uh, I think it's uh, July 1st or July 22nd is Cancer. So for some of you guys, a Cancer or a Leo is already significant in your life. For some of you guys, a Cancer or a Leo is about to become significant in your life. Um, they have Cancer or Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, and Hey, Jupiter charts. Um, July energy, born in July, whether they are a Cancer or a Leo or a Cancer Leo cusp, how that resonates in a class. Like, I'm a Leo. 
um, like a Leo Cancer cusp because I was born on the 25th of July. And Leos don't start until the 23rd of July. So, so whether a Cancer or a Leo is already significant in your life in a positive or negative way, or they're about to become significant in your life in a positive or negative way. Cancer or Leo energy, July. And for one, a workplace death from July of 2022 is about to come back up in your life in a huge way. You never thought it would, but it's about to. Whoa, my God. And for one of you guys, a workplace death. So a death that occurred in a workplace? Dear God. A death that occurred in a workplace in July of 2022 is about to come back significant in your life, Capricorn. Uh, whoever you are and how this applies, I think you might work at the place where this person passed away, whether they were an employee or maybe it's like medical and, um, you know, like a assisted living or skilled nursing or a hospital or something and they passed away maybe there. I didn't hear if that was the case, but somehow a workplace death, whether they're an employee that passed away or maybe it was a patient that passed away, but somehow this death in a workplace, I think you work at Capricorn. It's about to come back, circle around to you. You never thought it would, but it's about to. So it happened. The death happened in July 2022, whether it's an employee that passed away, like on the job, or maybe it was a patient if you work in um, um, uh, in healthcare. How that resonates with us. Yikes. Thoughts, shrewdness, and resourcefulness, especially in business. For one of you, an, um, a lawyer, an Aquarius energy that wronged you in a huge way in the past, just know their business is tanking and it will continue to tank. For one, they're going to end up losing their license for many series of chain of events. They severely wronged you in the past. Holy crap. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of Aquarius lawyer severely wronged you in the past. It could be a master of Aquarius lawyer. They can have Aquarius in any aspects of their charts, but they severely wronged you in the past. Um, this Aquarius lawyer did. So they did not do right by you, um, Capricorn. Um, but I heard just know they're about to get their negative karma. Confirmation with the teenagers on the four-wheelers back and forth on the street. Um, just know they're about to get their negative karma because I heard their business is already tanked. It will continue to tank. And for one of them, I think there might be two Aquarius lawyers that wronged you in some situations. You plug in how it resonates. Um, one of them, I heard they're going to end up, through many series of chain events, they're going to end up losing their license. Um, and I looked it up the other day because I was, I know nurses, obviously we, we have licensures um, as professionals, but I didn't know if, I, I thought maybe not lawyer, lawyers did, but I wasn't sure. So I looked it up and they do. They have to hold occupational licenses um, to practice law. Um, so one of them's going to end up losing their license. Um, I think it was over some, somehow they wronged you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it's an Aquarius lawyer, masculine femme. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, world femme, and Hayward, Jupiter charts. Shrewdness, especially in uh, business, I think is their business declining. Negative karma, their business declining. Their lawyer law business declining. And one of them going to lose their licensure. I feel maybe one, you made a report on them to the uh, bar, bar association, uh, which is the lawyer's um, governing board, um, or you're about to, which is going to create negative series of chain of events to um, um, have them lose their licensure is what I feel. Whatever it is, it was terrible. Um, uh, I mean, I, I'm presuming lawyers just don't lose their license unless there's a reason to lose it. 
There was a huge reason to lose it, and they're about to. Okay, I heard there's a huge reason to lose it, and they're about to. Okay, yeah. They severely wronged you, Capricorn, severely. Um, how that resonates, okay? And for one, you're worried you're going to get your hours cut at work. For one, you are. But for one, you're not. Okay, so there's two of you. Two of you, you're worried you're going to get your hours cut at work. I heard for one, you are going to get your hours cut at work. One, you're not. So shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business, is worrying about if you're going to get your hours cut at work. I heard for one, you are going to get your hours cut. For one, you're not. So... You plug it in how it resonates. You work in a 3D workspace if that resonates for you. One, you are going to get your hours cut. One, you're not. So shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially business, is the hours being cut for the one that your hours are going to be cut. For one, they're not. Okay. One, you work in retail. One, you work in healthcare. One, you're a manager. One, you work in retail. One, you work in um, healthcare. And one, you are a manager. So you plug it in how it resonates, whether you work in retail, healthcare, or you're a manager, how that resonates and applies. Retail can be many varying different areas, you know, um, many, whatever, you know, JCPenney, Walmart, Target, um, TJ Maxx, I mean, it could go on, okay? Money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. For one, your mother is going to set up a trust fund for you through many series of chain of events. It is going to make you shock you and make you very happy and very grateful. You're a very grateful person. Wow. So for one, you're a very grateful person. And I heard your mother, um, through many shocking series of chain of events, is going to set up a trust fund for you. Um... Through many series of chain events. So she hasn't done it yet. Uh, sounds like upcoming. She's going to set up a trust fund for you. Um, I heard uh, you're going to be very grateful for it. So I think you might thank her for it. I heard you're going to be shocked, but you're going to be grateful. So um, I think you're going to be very grateful and thank her. Um, she hasn't done it yet. And whoever your mother is, I think she's wealthy or she's about to become wealthy. How that resonates and applies. So a path um, with money is waiting for you to find it. It's that trust fund energy. But I heard you're a very grateful person. So you're not a greedy, selfish, immature person. I think you're very mature and you're very grateful. And I think you will appropriately um, thank her for, her for it the way she should be thanked for it. It's your mother, if that resonates for you, whether it's biological mother or foster mother. I think you might receive a text, phone call, message, or something to do with your phone. Because I got a confirmation on my phone when I got that message. So you plug it in how it resonates. And for one, through many shocking series of chain of events, you work in a hospital and you are about to lose your job. There is about to be chaos all over this hospital. And you are about to be pulled into it in a huge way. You never thought you would lose your job, but you are about to. There is about to be complaints all over the place on you, all over the place. It will not, it cannot be hidden anymore. You will lose your job. It's going to shock the hell out of you. Whoa, so you plug it in, how it resonates, that was, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so for one, you work in a hospital, and it sounds like you've been working there a while. It sounds like you've been working there a while. I heard you never thought you'd lose your job. So I think you've been there a while, uh, whoever you are. I um, think you thought you had a lot of job security there. Um, but it sounds like there's about to come, soon there's about to be complaints about to come all over the place on you. Um, there's about to be some kind of chaos, I heard, in the hospital, not on a unit. It sounds like hospital-wide. Regarding you or a situation or something, and the complaints sound like are going to direct towards you. Um, you thought you were going to think that you can dodge this, but you cannot. 
Not this time. You are going to think that you can dodge it, but um, you will not be able to this time. So complaints are about to just come up. Something's about to happen in a hospital. And I didn't hear in a unit. I heard in a hospital, in the hospital. So hospital-wide or something of that nature. But it's going to involve you in some shape, form, or fashion, Capricorn. You've worked at this hospital a while. I think you think you have job security or you have had job security or something. I heard you never thought you'd lose your job. But something terrible is about to happen. Chaos energy that's about to cause this, basically. I heard you thought you think you're going to be able to dodge it. I heard you will not be able to this time. So I think you were able to dodge bullets in the past regarding complaints or dodging something regarding your job or losing your job or something serious like all these complaints coming in. It's something terrible. I mean, it's some whatever it is. I didn't hear what it was. I wonder if it's a death. But um, I didn't hear it was. But whatever it is, it's not good. And it's going to cause a shit ton of complaints, I think, directed towards you or indirectly towards you. But it sounds like you have dodged bullets in the past. But you're not going to be able to with this one. It's going to be so huge, you will end up losing your job. And CEO, CEOs will hear about this. Oh, my God. This is going to be so huge that you will end up losing your job. That's double deuce of confirmation. CEOs will end up hearing about it. So um, in this aspect, I think this is looking for new employment. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. You work in a hospital. You have dodged bullets many times in the past. I think you think you have job security, but something is about the chaos energy is about to occur. I think you're a smooth talker, and I think you know how to get handle situations, or you think you know how you, to get out of situations, but you won't be able to get out of this. I heard whatever it is, CEOs are going to hear about it. And you will be terminated. So, whoever you, I mean, I didn't hear many more details on that. But, um, it is very warranted. Very. You think you're such a smooth person. Oh, my God. I heard it's very warranted. Very. You think you're such a smooth person. I'm getting out of that energy. Whoever you are, you're a Capricorn. You work in a hospital. Okay. You've been there a hot minute, too. Oh, Lord. Success. A gift card is about to become very significant in a um, Capricorn's life. And for one Capricorn, you're about to save someone's life in a hospital. You're a feminine Capricorn and you have a good heart and you're about to, and you're very skilled and you're about to save a person's life. You're about to get high honor. It's a masculine energy about to enter chaos. Okay, okay. Well, oh good, because I was a little confused. Okay, so we have two Capricorns that work in a hospital. One, you're a femme. You're about to be a hero. The one in the Hot Mess Express over here with the chaos and conflict is a masculine energy. So, sir? Well, I can't call you sir, because it, I heard it's very warranted. So, I don't know what the hell you're trying to get out of or about to try to get out of, but I heard it's warranted. So, only you know what hot mess you're about to get into there. Okay? But you're masculine. But the femme... You work in a hospital, too. Um, and I heard you're very skilled. You're about to save somebody's life, and you're about to have success, and you're about to get high honor. I heard you're very skilled, very good at your job, and you're about to um, get high honor. You're an RN. You're an RN. You're an RN. Oh, and the other one's an RN, too. And the other one's an RN, too. Oh, my God. I'm pulling it. Two RNs. One's about to lose their job. One's about to get high honor. So, um, masculine, you're about to lose your job. You're an RN. Fem, you're about to get high honor. You're both Capricorns. Holy crap. You plug it in, how it resonates. And double confirmation on my phone. Holy moly. This is, wow. I mean, congratulations, ma'am. I heard you really care. You really care, and um, you have a good heart, and you're very skilled, and you're RN. Um, and you are about to save somebody's life. Whatever the hell is going on over here, I think somebody might die. And I didn't hear that. But if they don't die, I think they're going to damn near die. And I hate to say that. I do. But I'm an RN too. So that intuitively, that's what I feel. And I'm just being for real. If it's not death, it's something that really warrants a shit ton of complaints. I'll tell you that. Not even a sir. I mean, I can't call you a sir. Because I heard you basically pride yourself on getting away. 
getting smooth talking your way out of shit. So I can't even call you a sir. Just saying. But ma'am, you're wonderful. You're wonderful. You are a fem RN. RN Unite, just saying, just saying. And you work in a hospital. And I heard um you are about to save somebody's life. You are very talented, skilled, and you really care. You have a big heart. And you're about to save a life. And I heard you are about to get high honor. So success with saving this patient's life. Um, number 24 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 24. Um, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 24. But I heard you will end up through many series of chain events saving this patient's life and getting high honor. You will get a very prestigious, prestigious award in your hospital. You are a great nurse, and you are about to be valued there in a huge way. You are not valued at other places. You're beautiful. I love you. Okay, so you're not only going to save this patient's life, but you sound, sound like an educator and a very knowledgeable and very uh, skilled. And you really care, and you have a big heart. I love you. But you're not only going to save the patient's life, and you're very experienced, too. You're not only going to save the patient's life, you are going to um, get an award in this hospital. Whatever hospital you're working at, and how that resonates, I didn't hear it back, okay? But I heard you were not valued at other hospitals in the past, but you're about to come valued at this one. So you're going to get a very prestigious award in this hospital or this company. I heard specifically the hospital. So I think the current hospital you're in, i.e. the company, I'm presuming, and they're going to they're gonna value you. Success, value, work. I heard you were not valued at other hospitals, so I think you worked at many, at least two or two plus other hospitals, and they didn't value you. Um, they probably treated you like crap on the shoe, but you're about to have success and value and worth in this hospital. Some kind of prestigious award. Hopefully, it's a monetary award. I didn't hear it was, but hell, they, I mean, nurses are very underappreciated. Trust me, I know I am one. So, um, it's nice to see somebody with, that truly cares, unlike this asshole over here, um, about to reap some positive karma in the universe. Congratulations, ma'am. You haven't saved this patient's life yet, but you're about to. Success. The company in the hospital is about to put you on a pedestal when this occurs. Know this. You should. You should be. Wow, you you are the rock star, ma'am. I heard the company will put you on a pedestal after this uh, after after you save this patient's life. So I think you might work critical care possibly, like CCU, MICU, or ICU. Um, uh, I don't think you were. I mean, well, you could work anywhere. Trust me, I've worked in hospitals before. You could work anywhere in a patient code, and that's just damn true. You could work in a skilled nursing, and they code, and that's just damn true. But I intuitively, I feel you work CCU, MICU, or ICU. But you plug it in how it resonates, ma'am. You definitely work in a hospital, though. So, kudos to you, ma'am. Kudos. I love it. I would love to know if this resonates. Of course, y'all know the rules, and you'll have to tell me, but I would love to know. And for one, you're about to handle a very complex patient complaint in retail. And you're going to impress your manager so much. They will start training you in managerial. In managerial. You're a teenager. Wow. Holy crap. A lot of success in here. Okay. And for one, you work in retail. You're a teenager. Now, teenagers are typically 13 to 19, but... I don't know what age you are, um, and you're a feminine, and you're a fem, you're a fem, um, whatever age you are, ma'am, teenager, um, uh, okay, um, uh, but, um, you work in retail, okay, and you're about to, uh, it sounds like upcoming, it hasn't happened yet, you're about to uh, occur 
a situation that is about to arise in your workplace, in retail, a very complex uh, customer complaint. So it sounds like you were going to handle it or have a hand in handling it. But however that resonates, I heard you were going to handle it like a champ and a pro, and you're going to impress the hell out of your manager. Um, and I heard once the manager sees how professional and wonderful you handle this patient complaint and patient situation, they're go you're going to impress them. And so they're going to train you to be a manager. You're a teenager. Um, and you're going to have success. So I feel you're going to get a promotion. Um, they're going to take you under their wing. They're going to take you under their wing and really train you well and really train you well. Wow. They're going to take you under their wing and really train you well. So you're going to have success in your retail um, situation, teenager, femme, Capricorn, um, of really handling this customer complaint in a very positive, copacetic manner. Really, I think attending to the patient, um, not the patient, sorry, that's me, <laughs> attending to the customer's complaint and um, needs and really appropriately handling it or finding someone else that can appropriately handle it in a positive copacetic manner and it's going to impress your manager so much that i heard they're going to take you under their wing so and train you right so they're going to teach you all the ropes of everything they know i'm presuming in the managerial position um and you're going to have great success i'm assuming a promotion raise um, that's beautiful you're just a teenager i'm so proud of you whoever this is that's you're a feminine Capricorn, but it sounds like you deserve it. You are definitely going to deserve it because it's going to be a tough complaint. But you're going to handle it like a champ. Okay, I heard you're definitely going to deserve it because it's going to be a very tough complaint, but you're going to handle it like a champ. It hasn't happened yet, ma'am. So hopefully you can get some foresight with this reading and prepare for it in your 3D workspace, and you'll be able to handle it like a champ. I believe in you, and I know you can do it. Okay. Success. You're going to become a manager. Um, but it's after you, it's after this. I heard it's a very, 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 very tough, very tough complaint. So it's not going to be no easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, I think they're going to be complaining. They might be yelling. They might try to throw some, uh, hopefully not domestic violence, but they might. I mean, I don't know. It's a very tough complaint, but it sounds like you're going to handle it with grace and tact and beautiful energy and i'm very 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 proud of you whoever you are very proud okay so success i love it love it love it love it for one your mother has a listening device in her house and it is about to backfire on your toxic ass family know this in a huge ass way Oh, my God. And for one of you guys, your mother has a listening device in her house. And I heard it's about to talk. Uh, and a Sagittarius. Okay. It's about to backfire on your toxic family and a Sagittarius in a huge way. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Your mother, um, for one of you guys, your mother has a listening device in her house. So, somehow it's about to backfire on a Sagittarius and a, uh, your toxic family. So, Either your toxic family implanted the listening device in her home or a Sagittarius did or they cahooted together to do it. But somehow, if this resonates for you, Capricorn, somebody, a Sagittarius and a toxic family, your toxic family and a Sagittarius knows that there's a listening device in your mother's home. But it's about to backfire on them. Master of Femme Sag, they could have Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Hand, Jupiter, Charts, and your toxic family. So I think maybe the Sagittarius implanted it in um in her home is what i feel but you plug it in how it resonates but your mother is about to have success because it's about to backfire on sagittarius and um her toxic family and i'm sorry your toxic family and your mother's toxic family it's really about to backfire on this sagittarius in a huge way it's really about to backfire on the sagittarius in a huge way so it's about to backfire on your toxic family uh caps because it's part of your family your bloodline but Really about the backfire on the Sagittarius. I think the Sag might have implanted it in there. Because there's a reason we're pulling in the Sag energy with your toxic family. I think they might have, the toxic family might have cahooted with the Sag to do it. 
but it's really about the backfire on sex. So you plug in how it resonates. Success with your mother about to have success, and it's about to introduce about the backfire. Um, if anybody implants any kind of, just let everybody know, if somebody implants a hidden camera or a listening device at anybody's home, that's a crime. Just let everybody know. That's a crime. And for one, you're going to receive a Christmas bonus. And for one, you're going to receive a Christmas bonus. And for one, you're going to receive a Christmas Christmas bonus. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And namaste.